In this module, we will take a look at the history of photography. This is a quick look at how photography has developed. Photography is hinged at the discovery that if you poke a hole in a wall of a dark room, you create a called camera obscura. That means light passing through the hole that is projected upside down and retains color and perspective. The first historical mentions of camera obscura in pinal photography are by ancient philosophers Mosey, Aristotle and Halzen. In 1490, Leonardo da Vinci records detailed descriptions of camera obscura and uses it to trace stuff. By the 1700s, uh, camera obscura devices are common and there's evidence to suggest artists like Rembrandt, Vermeer and Caravaggio used them. In 1724, Johann Heinrich Schulz discovers that substances mixed with silver nitrate react to light. Sadly, the images fade soon after, until one day, in 1826, the world's first photograph is taken by Joseph Niefs in France using a procedure called heliography. Heliography was a photographic process used to make the earliest known surviving photograph from nature, called View from the Window at Le Gras. After his death, his partner Louis Daguerre continues his working, creates the first practical photographic process in 1833, uh, called the Daguerreotype. In 1839, the French government buys and declares the Daguerreotype free to the world. In 1840, Henry Fox Talbot unveils the calotype. Calotype was a process based on negatives that allows for paper copies to be made. It's also important to mention the contribution of Sir John Herschel, who published many essential research papers in coined the term photography from the Greek words of light and drawing. By the 1850s, mobile photo studios were all the, ra the rage because photos had to be developed on site. Exposure times were about three minutes long, so people used neck braces and rugs to keep still, and it is also why nobody smiled in early photos. The world's first color photograph is produced in 1861, it's of a bow. In 1871, Richard Leach Maddox invents the gelatin dry plate, meaning small cameras and no tripod necessary. In order to settle the debate of whether all fours of a horse's hooves ever simultaneously leave the ground, Englishman Edward Mybridge sets up 12 cameras with wire triggers in the path of a galloping horse. The world's first photo sequence proves that they do. In 1885, George Eastman, founder of Eastman Kodak, invents roll film. The first handheld camera, then Kodak, goes on sale in 1888. The Kodak came preloaded with 100 exposures, that needed to be sent back to the factory for processing and reloading when the roll was finished. Eastman takes mass market photography a step further in the early 90s with the Brownie. A Brownie was an affordable box camera that introduces the concept of a snapshot. Oscar Barnack builds the revolutionary 35mm uh, Leica 1, which goes into production in 1925. The camera allows photographers to go mobile and capture the moment. Some of the most iconic pictures in history would be taken with this camera. The first single lens reflex SLR camera arrives in 1949 and the first digital image is created from a scan in 1957. However, digital cameras would only arrive a little later in 1975 when Steve Sasson, a young engineer working for Eastman Kodak, 
invents the first digital camera. The problem, at that time, was that nobody at Kodak was interested in digital. Kodak only later switches to G digital in 2004 and files for bankruptcy in 2012. The digital revolution begins in the 90s with DSLRs and point and shoots. Photography had never been more accessible. 15 years later, since the first mobile phone with a camera came out in 2000, we have mo modern smartphones that now have insanely powerful cameras. In seconds, we are able to capture every moment and share it with everybody. Photography has become a global passion and has truly brought the world closer together.